Welcome to IJDM. Today, we're going to take a quick look at ANSI.sys, particularly what you can do with a DOS prompt. And I'm not sure if you can see here, I'll just do a directory listing as I shift my camera, well, right or left here, get centered again. It's kind of a pinkish, it's supposed to be red, like a lighter red, but it, it almost appears a little pink colored, I guess. I don't know why my camera looks crooked. There we go. A little better. Anyhow, it's a, it's a way of changing your prompt and what you're normally going to do to get this running, and I believe it's auto exec dot bat. No. Uh, it is config.sys. I knew that. And most of you probably knew that. So one thing you want to do, and this one's 95, if it was DOS, it'd be in the DOS directory. You want to load the ansi.sys file that you can see right there. And that will enable you to do the next thing, which is the auto exec bat, which I should have done second, where you can enter the prompt. And if you see the coding here, it's dollar sign E, um, a bracket one, semicolon 31, semicolon 40, M, dollar sign P, dollar sign G, which sounds very familiar. Knowing that type of code, so 31 obviously made the prompt appear red. So we'll remember 31. So what we're gonna do is go to 32 and save it. And we're just gonna do a quick restart. This laptop usually restarts pretty quick. And yes, uh, we have guest birds tonight. They are out flying around right now, getting their free time. And as you can see now, and I'll directory list because I know it's hard to see in the screen. Maybe I can turn the brightness down. Maybe it'll help a little bit. Now it appears green. So if we go in, and that was just a simple change of the actual auto exec file. <clears throat> and changing the actual prompt color. Uh, one, I think, delineates whether it's a brighter prompt or darker. And then the following, and I'm not sure about the 40M. I don't know if that's size or whatever. And there's other little... Uh, symbols you can put in there that it lets you do time and whatever. I've I've done some all kinds of crazy prompts over the years in my DOS days, but we'll just go through a few of the different color options that you have here and and see what it is. And I mean the birds think it's funny. And those are ringneck doves. They uh, whenever they land somewhere to establish uh, I'm here, they they that's their call. It sounds like a laugh. Uh, so. There we go, we, we have yellow now, and hopefully this kind of appears yellow if you can hear me over the uh, the crazy birds here right now. And this should make for entertainment for anybody that has birds in their house or ever had birds. So let's just go to uh, 34, and we're gonna do maybe two more, and then we'll call it quits on this video. But just to show you how to change your prompt color and uh, I'll try to leave instructions in the uh, comment section of what the coding is to do this. And it's not that hard. And there's plenty of other stuff. Like I said, if you want the time on your prompt or you want the date or you want both, there's a lot of neat stuff you can do. So this one appears to be like a bluish color. Eh, fairly neat. And uh, I think the next one kind of goes to like a turquoise, maybe. And if you ever notice on some of my laptops, they're all different colors and I have different... Uh, schemes for each one of them this one being it's 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 a red configuration one's yellow one's i think green and one's like a blue light teal blue color so we'll try 35 and then we'll see where it is when it reboots and i could type this in right at the prompt command and actually change the clause right from there i'm just doing this in a simple way so i don't have to remember the command prompt uh command uh to do it I am curious on one thing which we'll try. So that, that makes it appear purple. And there's purple. Yeah. So when you type in prompt and you type in dollar sign P, dollar sign G, let's see if it just returns back to white. No, nope, it stays the same color. So without the, the, the color change. And if I type in, I think it's prompt P, prompt G, prompt T. It's, yeah, see now the prompt is showing the time each time. And obviously by seconds and I guess milliseconds too. If I want to change that back, I would just hit prompt P, prompt G, and then your prompt is back to where it is. And if I'll go back to my original red, 
I'm gonna do this to the that file. Then I would just go in and change this back to, I believe, which was number one, and save it. And then, and of course, in the editor program in DOS or Windows 95, you can change the colors. I fooled around with them one day and just kind of left it where I was at. I kind of set these laptops in different moods. This one's always been moody, so I give it red, but they're all moody, so. And we're back to red again. So that's basically how you change prompt colors in, uh, in DOS, and you can do it, and some of them, it, it comes in handy for certain screens and stuff, maybe the, the brightness or something's a little off with it. It's, some colors are easier on some people's eyes than others. Some people have color blindness, so it's kind of a nifty trick if you, if you do plan on doing some DOS gaming and you have to do stuff through the command prompt, it is a, a nice little feature to, to know and be able to actually do. Again, I'll leave the, the uh, instructions on the bottom and uh, try to give a quick example of the ANSI codes. You can easily look up ANSI codes. 31 should be like a red color, and 32 should be like a yellow or whatever color it appeared on this video. And they're easy to find on uh, any type of search site, but I'll try to list, list that out in the comments section as well if you want to learn more about what colors are what. And you can just experiment. I think they, they go through a whole different uh, gambit of different colors and options that you have. Thanks for joining us tonight. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.